In the picturesque small Norwegian town of Brumendal lies a building that is breaking records. The 280-foot Gasterne Tower became the world's tallest timber building when it was launched in 2019. It did not just break records. It also provided that timber can provide a sustainable and greener alternative to highly polluting concrete and steel. But it's not just any old timber that was used for this building. It was a type of engineered wood called cross-laminated timber, or CLT. The special and sturdy type of wood product is produced by gluing strips of laminated wood together at 90 degree angles to one another. These strips are then compressed into huge beams using pressure. The end result is impressively tall wooden towers called ply scrapers, and Mjasterne is not the only example. In Vancouver, Canada, there is a 174-foot-tall wooden student residence and a hybrid condo complex that boasts a timber frame. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a 238-foot wooden apartment block, Ascent, has been under construction since June 2020. And in Vienna, a mixed-use development just five feet shorter than Mjasterne called Hoho impresses all who are lucky enough to visit it. In addition, the latest update to the International Building Code, used as a base model for building standards by many countries, including the U.S., will allow timber buildings to rise to 18 stories for the first time this year. Those who support mass timber claim that, compared to existing options, it results in quicker construction times, stronger buildings, and even safer outcomes in the event of a fire. Research has found that a 7-inch thick CLT floor has a fire resistance rating of 2 hours. Not bad. Wood also has green credentials. It stores carbon dioxide throughout its life. So if trees are harvested at the age when they can't absorb more carbon and are turned into mass timber, the carbon is trapped. When a ply scraper goes up, this means that the carbon is locked away for decades. And at the end of its life, the timber can be used as biofuel to replace fossil fuels. Mass timber experts believe that using trees for construction prolongs their life by 100 to 200 years if you harvest them at the right time. In the last few years, as interest has grown, more CLT factories are being built and economies of scale always reduce prices. There is, however, the question of how these buildings will age over time. Being relative newcomers to the industry, not much data is available to effectively analyze and evaluate their longevity. Experts argue that they will become extremely viable and popular when mass timber becomes cheaper than conventional alternatives. That is when ply scrapers will truly soar.